What's going on everyone? Steven here. In this video I am going to show you how you would find your perk points and attribute points. So this is very very simple in terms of how you would normally go about finding it. So uh, this is presuming that you have um, perk points or attribute points available to use. Okay, And I have 99 here because I've given myself that. Uh, but basically if you had attribute points or perk points what you would do is whichever one you want to find you would uh, do a new scan for that number. So for attribute points right now I have 99. Do a first scan and once that's done I'll use uh, an attribute point. That's what I'm gonna go for here. So Boom, down to 98. Let's search 98. All right, see how that one changed? Like, that's changing, but we know our value isn't actually changing, so this is going to be it right here. So if I were to change that to 50, or if you only had 3, and now, you know, you wanted to change it to 99, you could do that. All you've got to do is exit out of here, come back into your character, and boom, there's your changed value. And it's the same for your perk points. You'll do exactly the same thing. All right. However, there's a nice little trick. Uh, you can browse around in memory regions. And so what I'm going to do is go uh, 98. And then for this, I'm going to go 76. All right. I'm going to delete this one that we found here. All right, so pretend that you found either one of these. You found attribute points or perk points. So if you only have one but not the other, you can easily find your way to the other. Okay, so let's say attribute points. That's the one that I actually have. I found the value. Now I'm going to right click and say uh, browse this memory region. And in this window that pops up, this is the value for the address that you selected. Okay, What you can do is right click on this because these numbers probably look different for you and hover over display type and go to 4 byte decimal and that will make the numbers look correct. Now because I selected attribute points here, let me refresh my screen here so that those numbers appear like they are. All right, Here's the 98. Now if we look over just a few addresses we have 76. That's our perk points right there nearby in memory. Okay. So that's now what if we looked up uh, perk points instead, right? So this is what we would get. This is perk points. We would go browse this memory region and it's going to like whatever number or value you select to browse that's going to be the first one that it places here. And all you have to do is scroll up or down to keep looking up and down in memory. And so if you look back just a little bit, here is 98. Okay? So it just placed us a little farther in memory right here at this spot, and we just needed to look up. Okay? So that's a nice little trick. You can look around in memory. So when you find certain values, right? then you can start looking around in memory and see if any of the other numbers on the screen or anything else, if those seem to be uh, residing somewhere close by in memory. And if they are, you can try changing them, modifying them. You could just double click here, change the value. We'll go 64. OK. Come back into character and boom, 64. All right. So Really simple way there to modify your attribute and perk points. And uh, if you don't have any and you just want to give yourself some, you can go download this cheat table that I have, okay? And you'll enable this experience. And I'm going to set this to hide children. Initially, it's not going to show anything. You have to enable it. And once you do, you might see some funkiness show up here. But what you're going to want to do is, uh, I still have to, I'll probably redo this script totally. <laughs> uh, but in the meantime, what you'll do is come into your character right here. 
okay? And you want to give this about five seconds to populate, five to ten. All right, you should see your numbers populate here. If you're on this screen with your attribute and perk points, this is where you want to be on this screen and you wait for the attribute and the perk points to populate. Then you can change these to whatever, okay? So for the experience, you can do the same thing and I'm gonna do a video specifically on experience because I want to rewrite this experience script and show you how I did this. But you would actually want to be on the stats screen where your experience shows here. Give it about five to 10 seconds or however long it takes to populate here and you can change that value to, let's do this. I'll exit out of the screen, come back into it, and there we go. Now, if I were to put a thousand, it wouldn't level up yet because there's a function that needs to fire um, that doesn't fire if you give yourself a boatload of experience. But I'm gonna address all that in my experience video that I'm gonna do. So anyway, uh, yeah, that's, two little things there you can either go about it manually or just use the cheat table here and have some fun all right so that's it if you enjoyed the video give it a thumbs up share it subscribe and i'll see you on the next video take care